hello beautiful people you're welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here with me if today is your first time of seeing my face thank you my name is olivia today's video is very exciting one because i am collaborating with my sister and friend uche Anidim. yay yes uche is also a an amazing content creator who is based in spain she's also a nigerian and yeah. mom as well in collaboration with uche we are dealing on the same topic do all men really cheat mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's the tea we are here to spill so if you finish watching my video her link will be on the description box so just run down to her channel watch her video and support her tell her you're coming from cherish olivia and also subscribe to her channel okay thank you so so much let's jump right into the video what do you think about this unpopular opinion it's relative for me it depends on what you see as cheating in the first place what is cheating cheating can be seen in different ways there's what the bible calls fornication and adultery adultery is when you when two married people have something together and um fornication is when two single people yeah have something together so and according to the bible i'm, I'm not sure about the verse at the moment but whatever that ranges from looking conceiving it in your heart having the thought of it and till doing it is fornication and adultery so according to the bible i'm a christian if you do not know according to the principles of the bible you don't necessarily have to do the do okay before it's stamped as yeah that you have done it okay you just have to probably look in a lustful manner you just have to probably you know want it or wish it or desire it or do do something something okay to the main thing okay that's what the bible terms as cheating so if you would if we talk about cheating in that context oh my god <laughs> oh my god the woman really cheat if we talk about it in that context then i'll tell you unfortunately 99 percent of men cheat have cheated will cheat and are cheating at the moment i like as i'm speaking to you right now like right now okay <laughs> it's very funny to me you heard me right 99 percent okay that's when we look at it in the in the context of the bible okay then if we look at it in just the context of a layman if we look at it in just um doing the do like having another partner apart from your partner if we look at it in that context okay that means okay ha actually having a partner a real partner you know that you're actually going out with and doing stuff with my ratio will be i would say 90 percent of dudes out there will mm -hmm. don't come for me or mm -mm. chill wait let me let me tell you before you come for me okay i put it in the sense that yeah Obviously, what it means by cheating is having another partner or doing something with another person when you already have a partner or when you already have a wife or a husband, okay? So, I put it this way, saying that at a point in time in a, a man's life, they will, I think they will definitely cheat. That's what I think. Okay? They will definitely cheat. Or they have. Or they are conceiving it in their mind. Is that bad? Like, is that horrible? That's what I think. I might think it might be wrong. Don't come for me but i also um want to attribute it to the fact that men are definitely wired differently from a, a woman i'm not justifying the acts but men do not think straight when a challenging situation is before them a woman might probably think oh my god if i do this thing now first of all i might i might i'm pregnant and i don't want that first of all okay second i might be you know going against my partner or i'm in love with my partner i don't want to do that but oh my god guys are not wired like that most times you know they don't really look at what they are losing what am i losing i'm just going going to do what i, I want to do and that is it for me like you know and secondly the way they are wired also like they are visual people men are more visual people you know because of the fact that men are visual people 
they get, they easily get intrigued by what they see and they always see trust me a man will see on the road a man will see in his office a man will see in his secretary a man will see um in the mall obviously things to be seen are everywhere like <laughs> so why won't he okay that's the reason why i gave the percentage that so so percent of men will cheat or has cheated or is cheating okay presently because of the way they are wired okay yeah um i'll just say so they are wired differently from a woman the woman is not visual you know but men are very visual and those visual things they get actually to see them why i'm, I'm maintaining that percentage is um because of how the society like boosts in, and it think it's okay for a man to cheat the society definitely um pacifies men a lot you will see a man that will do the same thing and the woman does it. oh my god they will blow out of proportion if a woman does it. but if a man does it they'll be like oh okay we already know men cheat and and yeah what's the big deal just take it easy if your woman maybe is talking that oh, my husband has cheated this is they'll say i beg relax he's not the first man to cheat you'll get my point so that is the reason i'm, I'm going to say because these things actually the way the the society see things conform people's behavior because you know that a woman also will will probably not cheat that as much as a man because she knows that if she does it oh my god people will be on her neck and all that so and a man will will, will probably yeah not mind doing it or he won't even think twice or he won't think too much too much before he does it because he'll be like okay after all it's most is acceptable people will not crucify me for it people will not you know think it's a big deal in fact the society sometimes have come to the place of acceptance that oh yeah it's possible for a man to cheat so that is why i also think yeah that percentage of men 90 mm percent -hmm, yeah will cheat or do cheat the 10 percent i would say that do not cheat are maybe, maybe people clergymen pastors reverence priests and people that have real very high self-esteem and self-control because it takes man that has so much self-control so much discipline not to cheat it takes so much discipline if you're a man for you not to cheat and you must be in that place where you have that much discipline because women will definitely come at you women will definitely you know a uh, um, throw you they will definitely come at you so it takes a high level of discipline it takes the grace of god most times and it takes people that always dwell in the presence of god clergymen pastors reverence imams those people that are very religious okay it takes those people those are the percentage i'll say okay but the 90% I um, I said, um, not 90% of all men, like men always cheat. I will say 30% might be very chronic cheats. 20% of men are occasional cheats. I'm, I'm talking out of that 90%, then maybe 40 see, or 30 are people that have once cheated or that will still cheat or that has cheated or that cheating presently, if you get me. <laughs> it's so funny but yeah this is my the statistics i have in my head okay so before i, I actually made, made this video i i asked a lot of women old and young and got their opinion and people from their own experiences and what i know about men and their physiologists and the thought processes of women remember um I, I i don't know it all but i study human behavior and i, I study psychology and um the way the reason are different just have a picture of a shelf a bookshelf where books are are placed straight you know the normal conventional bookshelf so when books are placed you know separately on their own you can always take one book and deal with it at a time when you are taking one book it doesn't affect the other and it doesn't affect the other okay that is how main reason that is how they are structured and that is a man actually you know told me this and i analyzed it and i'm like it's true so that is how the reason so a man a man can comfortably deal with this woman and deal with this woman and deal with this woman and deal with this woman they are all in chefs like dealing with this woman does not affect dealing with this woman and it doesn't affect dealing with this woman and it doesn't affect work and it doesn't affect life and it doesn't you know that's how the reason that is why you see a man watching tv when, when a baby is crying by his side and he 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 is focused on that tv okay he, he he doesn't even realize that that baby is crying 
Okay, I just most times my, my, my kids will be probably shouting K -k -k, and my husband is intrigued in the TV and I'm like I will come down from upstairs, I will hear it from upstairs. I'll be like, But you're here, you say eh hey. and the children are too crying. <laughs> you can imagine that's how they are wired. Okay, so that's I'm I'm trying to justify why I gave the percentage I gave, okay. But women are wired in this form. Just picture a a book that is piled on each other. You know a heap of books like this um you can't take one without interrupting the other one you can't take this one if you if you want to take from under everything will fall if you want to if you want to take from middle everything will fall you get you interrupt so that is why women are aligned together that is how their thought processes work if if that makes sense to you it's having said that this video is not an encouragement to a man that cheats oh my god a man that cheats <laughs> oh do you know what is coming for you? I don't know. It's only God that knows what is coming for you. I think it's growth disrespectful. I think it's not valuing your partner. I think it's just, it's just all shades of wrong. Men, don't cheat because a woman might not cheat or she might not do anything. But if you cheat on her, oh my God. Or if you do something to her. She might be living in the same house with you still. But it's <laughs> what she's thinking in her mind. Only God knows. Hmm. Mm. When she when she unleashes the dragon, it go shock you. You get my point. What better this video was like? We I was just talking with Uchi and we are like to mention it and we decided to make this video. She has her own opinion. I don't know what she said in that video. Um, I'm talking about Uche and my friend, that we have a collaboration and we decided to make this video to you know air our own views from different perspective. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like this video. Please, if you like this video, hit on the like button. Mm, like this video, okay? And after hitting on the like button, please subscribe. Hit on the subscribe button. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, okay? And after you have finished liking this video, watching this video, and subscribing, please hit go right away to Uche's um video because her link will be on the description box and um go and show her some love thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you god bless you see my next one bye